Wrapping up nearly two weeks of fall camp here. First scrimmage, a little yes, bit of pads sir. getting hit today. Joined by none other, can I say the pride of Troy, Texas, Zach Herbacic. What's up, Zach? Nothing much, sir. Man, it's good to see you. Uh, coming on here three years now. Got some playing time last year. Coming in, I believe, after five games, getting the start. And now here goes this team. What's the journey been like as uh, we're here, like I said, almost two weeks now into fall camp? Uh, it's been a great journey. You know, we're really getting to know each other still. Uh, got a lot of new guys, a lot of new transfers, but um, we're definitely growing, building the team chemistry, and it's just great camaraderie every day, but yes, sir. You know, you coming in, running back, obviously, and just a lot of pressure on you now, young man. You had to grow up quick with this program. You've been through a lot of change. As I talked to other guys throughout some of this fall camp, moving from FCS to FBS, what's the whole journey been like for you? Uh, the journey, has been, it's been great. It's been a real different uh, change of pace and practice as well, and also in the scrimmage, it's a lot faster, just making plays. Um, but I think the coaches have done a great job of just introducing stuff, simplifying stuff for us to just play fast. You know, a lot of changes on this team, too. The roster, I believe, 48 new guys here now and about 10 from that squad back in the FCS National Championship. What have you seen from a lot of these new guys? Because now, let's be honest, you're kind of the leader. You're leading the pack now for the running backs. Uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of stuff from uh, John Gentry, the other running back. Uh, he's a great dude. I, I, I really do learn a lot from him every day. Uh, we come out and push each other and compete, uh, as well as uh, Grant Gannell. He's a quarterback out here. But just a lot of just learning new stuff from everybody and just, yeah. When you talk more about that running back core, just who are some guys that you're starting to see now? I know you mentioned some just a, a few moments ago, but who are you really seeing starting to stand up and maybe they could be the next leader that's following in your footsteps? Uh, I definitely see Coco Brown and, and DJ McKinney, the new freshman, come in. They are, they are some great players. DJ got great feet. And Coco's a little bigger, able to run through people, but they are both just, just great people. And then also Jay Yates making the, the move from uh, quarterback to running back. Um, but they're all great dudes and just great teammates. Zach, I think you have such an incredible story. You talk about coming from Troy, Texas, just outside the Waco area, uh, area that I was familiar with growing up in Georgetown, man, and being north of Gerald. For anybody out there, there may be a young person out there today saying, you know what, I'm a 3A high school player, but there's a chance just like you, and now here you are on a big stage at the FBS level. What message would you have for that young person? I would just say, you know, someone will always find you no matter where you are, whether it's 3A, 2A, 1A, uh, 6 minute 2 as well. Uh, wherever you are, they will find you if you're a baller. They'll, they'll come get you right up. Coach Buck came and got me, uh, but just keep working and grinding and just putting yourself on the map. We'll go back just briefly, a couple more questions on fall camp almost two weeks in. Where do you feel like are some areas that you guys maybe right now are struggling a little bit, some things that you could work on? Uh, definitely some things we could work on is just the energy throughout practice and scrimmage. Uh, even on those, those tough days when you're tired, you're beat down. It's day, what, nine of camp. Uh, just beat down, just having better energy when we come out. Because as a leaders, you can tell when the, when the energy is just stagnant. Um, but just understand what we have to do that day and just bring in good energy. And me personally, I can clean up some, uh, some blocking. Uh, just understanding protections and knowing when when uh, backers are blitzing and stuff like that. When you think more about your role, I already talked about, of course, being a leader, but where do you really feel your role is on this team as we get closer and closer to kickoff at BYU? Uh, I definitely feel my role in this team is just to, to be a playmaker in times when we need something to happen, uh, just a big play, uh, just lift my teammates up whenever that happens as well. And even when we're down and I'm not in the game, uh, just lifting my teammates up constantly. How's the chemistry been? You know, culture's a word that, that I bring up a lot. So does coach. We heard him talking about family a while ago, and it's either you're all in or you're not, and everybody here mm -hmm. seems to be always all in. Just the culture between you and maybe the chemistry between the running backs, the offensive line, a lot of new guys on the O-line as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe highlight some of that for us and just how that chemistry is working out. Uh, the chemistry is definitely great. This is probably one of the closest teams I've ever been on personally. Uh, the camaraderie is great all the time, just good energy in the locker room out here. Uh, just coming together and just always cheering on the O-linemen because they're the ones that do the job for us to get through. Um, but it's just been, it's been great. I got to throw this in, man. Maybe what is, what could be the biggest surprise of this season, particularly maybe for you or the running back core? Uh, definitely not just coming out being the number one running backs in Conference USA. Uh, just shocking the world, first game as well. Uh, we're just going to come out there and just do what we got to do. All right, there he is, Zach Herbacic, yes, the pride of Troy, Texas, like riding with this young man. Before we go, who do you want to say hello to, man? Uh, just shout out my mom and dad. I love y'all. All right, there it is. Yes, we'll send sir. it back to Troy, Texas. As always, friends, I'm Rob Hip for Behind the Bearcats and SHN Sports. We'll have more as fall camp continues. We are getting close to that countdown to kickoff coming up at BYU. Thanks, Zach. Yes, sir, thank you.